Hello again, everyone. Edwin Learned back once again. In this YouTube segment, I'm going to be talking about someone you may have heard of. Um, he's been in the news recently, very prominently, Bill Cosby. And the thing that I want to get on is now, many of you may know, he has recently admitted in a deposition that he had uh, given uh, drugs to women to have sex with them. Now, his reputation and character is obviously very maligned right now, and, and, and rightfully so. He's lost a lot of respect, a lot of credibility in the process, and I do understand that. And the thing, what, what I've noticed, though, people have uh, talked about um, him being the, the Dr. Huxtable, and he had this image that he had uh, on that show and that nobody was really going to confront him even if they knew something about this stuff going on at the time or they were cognizant of it and that he came across as the american art type etc etc but what's interesting is that whatever i've been watching in regards to this that nobody uh, at least i mean i'm sure people have but in what i've watched uh, I, I haven't seen anybody touch on the Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids show, and which came on before he uh, maybe arguably reached the pinnacle of his success on the Cosby show in the 80s. Now, the Fat Albert and the Cosby Kids uh, was in the, the 70s, and that was a very popular show, and that was really one of the more, I would say, one of the better cartoons of all time animated shows because it had a very uh, strong moral message that it would convey in it. And Cosby uh, himself being the host of that show, uh, he, he set something I felt like kind of a precedent in a way because you're hosting a show which has uh, which gives a good moral lesson uh, then you really have more than more than the average person I think to uphold not just that moral image but the true moral character and unfortunately he contradicted that uh, by his actions and I think what happens is we hold a lot of uh, celebrities renowned people to a pedestal we put them on a pedestal and we really hold them to a higher standard. I mean, everybody should be held to a strong standard, but I think people that we see on, on TV and people of celebrity status and stature or what have you, we hold them uh, to this higher standard. We feel that they should be role models. Remember, some, I think it was over 20 years ago, close to 25 years ago, didn't uh, Sir Charles Barkley? say uh, that he wasn't a role model and he started a lot of debate and controversy over that statement of course well the truth of the matter is whether it's charles barkley or, or any other famous person they they i believe they should be role models now the thing about the cosby incident what what's interesting about this or I should say incidents okay we have many other women are coming forward in saying that okay they they were drugged and they were not they were unconscious and that he performed sex on them when they were unconscious there was one woman that uh, many of you may I, I forget her name but she's talked about this extensively and she uh, I think this was like around 1979 either that year or near that time what happened was that Cosby had done this to her uh, allegedly and she had gone to some uh, higher power over this somebody that was uh, somebody she thought might be able to do something about it and that person apparently had told her to um, keep her mouth shut so but now that we're in the internet age we have I think there's more avenues there's more outlets you can you could have your voice heard more readily and even if you don't have somebody in, in a higher a ranking position that might be able to do something about it your voice could still go out and could potentially reach millions depending on I guess you could say the popularity of, of the, the the video or, or the statement or the, the blog or however you present your information out there so now being in this information age it does give people a little bit more power to do something to, to the people the perpetrators out there and 
I think the fact that more women have come forward has really augmented and enhanced what, what Cosby had done. Now, he has admitted to one, uh, one of these uh, allegations, I guess you could say. And the thing is, is that at least on the majority of them, I believe the statute of limitations has run out. And that is, in, uh, it's obviously that's beneficial to Bill Cosby. But what's happened is now with his name now, um, being, his reputation has been tarnished and tainted big time now. And it's gonna be very difficult for him, obviously, to find work. I don't know what the status is of the, the Cosby uh, show series, those episodes, and the, the Fat Albert and the Cosby kids. I don't know if they've been taken off the market or what's happened with them, but I mean, maybe if they haven't yet, maybe they will at some point. I don't, I don't know that. That I honestly had not researched before making this video. I wish I would have, but I didn't. But sorry about that. But I want to say that. I think a lot of times when you have people of celebrity status, they have a feeling of so much power and invincibility, they feel that they're almost immune to any any kind of punishment or, or anything that they, they do that might be reprehensible. They may feel they can get away with it. But now what's happened is time has caught up with Bill Cosby, unfortunately for him, and fortunately for the women that have had the, the courage and the fortitude now to come forward. Now, I mean, justice, as far as a legal standpoint, may not never be served, but at least now they're vindicated. And it's not, it wasn't a, about these women just sleeping around. It was something that was done against, uh, against their will. And now I don't know if necessarily if all the women would have said no if he had asked them to have sex when they were, uh, when, when they were awake. Now maybe some have someone, but it still constitutes rape if you do something, you have sex with a woman and you do this and you don't get their consent so it wasn't consensual so that's what it is and he's obviously he his reputation is now obviously diminished big time and it's gonna like i stated before it's gonna be very difficult for him to find some kind of work now at some point you might find somebody give him an opportunity on like a reality show or something just because of his name there may be that one or one or two outlets that are still going to maybe capitalize on this somehow and they feel that their network may make some money or or increase enhance their ratings due to bill cosby's presence on there and bill cosby of course would likely make some money doing this but I don't, I don't, I, but I think the opportunities, however, for him are, are, have greatly diminished whether he finds work or not. And I, I believe he was trying to revitalize his career and make some kind of comeback, but obviously that's going to go down the tubes at this point. I think that what I want to close with as far as Bill Cosby goes, and, and, and for all celebrities, we, we have a, a proclivity or tendency to idolize a lot of celebrities and a lot of times we don't see that that they are mortals just like us and a lot of them it may commit a few mistakes or mishaps but there may be some that do it more compulsively like Bill Cosby did and we have to remember just because we see a certain image on TV it's not really a subterfuge per se. Some people may correspond with that character that they portray in real life, some may not. But we have to remember it's very essential is that if we see somebody in an acting role, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're that same person in real life. I mean, you have someone like Clint Eastwood, and from what I heard, you, you see him, he has a very kind of stern, serious disposition in a lot of his movies. and. I've heard that he's very similar to that in, in real life, but not everybody corresponds with their acting role. Their, their, their personalities are not always going to replicate who we see on the TV or movie screen. And I think that's really very important uh, to remember, especially if by some freak chance there's any younger people watching this. I know it's not going to get an overabundance of views, I'm aware of that. But if I could just reach out to the, the few people that will see this and, and maybe learn from this video I made and 
that we can't all we can't always go by who we see on on TV and in their acting roles because a lot of times that may not be who they are in real life. Well, anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube segment. And until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying, stay well.